Prove my faith continually, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 I want us to increase our strength in the place of prayer. We have some prayers to pray here. We're going to say, Father in heaven. I lean on you. Please wash me by the precious blood of the Lamb. Wash me by the precious blood of your begotten son. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and tell it to God. Wash me by the precious blood of the Lamb. Wash me by the precious blood of the Lamb. Wash me thoroughly. Wash me thoroughly. Make me clean. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh God, yes, my Badura. I'm going to say, Father. Father. Please let your life. Shine upon my heart and illuminate my path of greatness. In the name of Jesus, so put your mother pray. So do any great effort in life. The light of God will shine upon you. Jesus said we pray. In Jesus' name we 
When Ali will say, Father, give me ideas to conquer and rule the world for you. Give me ideas to conquer and rule the world for you.
Lord will appreciate you. Allah will the giver of our food will thank you. And don't question your time, the provider of our needs we thank you. And don't question who I live on at Our love we thank you. Our shield we thank you. Our problem we thank you. The Holy One of Israel we appreciate you. Our Jehovah we thank you. Our Jehovah Jireh we exalt you. Our Shalom we exalt you. Our helper we thank you. We thank you for yesterday. We thank you for today. We thank you for tomorrow. Go ahead and shout hallelujah to the Lord. Our Jehovah El Shaddai, we thank you. Jehovah El Shaddai, I follow him. Our Jehovah El Shaddai, we thank you. Our Jehovah El Shaddai, not stand, we thank you. Our Jehovah El Shaddai, not succeed, we thank you. Our Jehovah El Shaddai, not prevail, we thank you. Our Jehovah Air shall crash, we thank you. Our Jehovah Air shall not stand, we thank you. Our Jehovah Air shall be casted into the lake of fire, we thank you. Our Jehovah Air shall be roasted, we thank you. We give you all the glory because you are not comparable, God. Be glorified, Father. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, you are the word of God. We ask that you bring life upon us here this morning. And let there be a change of position. In the name of Jesus. For we know when you change us, everything will turn to better. Thank you, precious Lord. In Jesus, we celebrate the name. We pray. Amen. Amen. Shall we put our hands together as we take our place? I want to appreciate the name of the Lord, sir, on your life for the opportunity once again. On behalf of the whole youth, we are saying thank you, sir. May the anointing of God continue to preach upon your life in the name of Jesus. I want to celebrate the name of the Lord in the life of our youth. May we go and conquer the world for Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray we'll be able to flow together. I know I've been an interpreter right from secondary school days. But I've never been interpreted before. Hallelujah. Amen. We read from Second Kings, chapter seven, from verse one to nine. That is a Kinesis And we are taking a topic this morning, which says. Why are we sitting here until we die? Why are we sitting here until we die? If you look at that passage very well, the preceding chapter, Ahab just passed away. And Jehoram, 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 no, his son, Omoy, had just ascended the throne, reigning in Israel as the king. And as at that time, Samaria was the headquarter. Samaria was the headquarter of the whole Israel. And there was a siege lay on the city of Samaria by the enemies, the Syrians. They laid siege to the extent that there was nothing to eat in the city anymore. If you cannot go out of your gate in the morning, very soon you will finish the food you have in the store. And you have to be hungry and test. So the situation becomes very worse. That people start 
started eating each other's child. I will not be saying four more hours one chair. Hallelujah. Amen. So in verse 1 of 2 Kings chapter 7, the Lord sent his beloved servant Elijah. Elijah. Say, go and tell them there will be a change within 24 hours. I submit to you, sir, that anybody can promise to change. But if God is not involved, I wonder how the shame will come. But if God is promising, you remember the song that said, God said it, I believe it. So God sent his servant. But I don't want to share with you. As he sent me here this morning. God said to you that there will be a change in the next 24 hours. How it will happen, don't bother yourself about it. But a change will occur in your life. And people will celebrate with you. In the name of Jesus. So God declared a new thing. A miracle was on the way. And in verse 2, he confirms to us that to enter this miracle that God is promising, you and I need an uncommon faith. But a man in that verse 2, Thou tell the move of God. That was the reason why I said we should pray that prayer of faith very well the other time. He was the only man who saw the miracle but never partook. Hallelujah. Amen. When the hand of God shall turn Nigeria around for good. You will not be missing in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible says you cannot please God without faith. And if we cannot please God without faith, how can we even receive from him? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And fasting is that us. That in every move of God, He needs you for a task. Say to yourself, God needs me. Say, God needs me. Hallelujah. Amen. We were taught in the school of disciples that God needs your needs us. He needs your intelligence. He needs your hands. He needs your voice. And that is why I God needs you. Say to yourself again, God needs me. The good shame we so desire as a nation. The good change we so desire as a nation. Change. We not come unless we do our individual part. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible talks about four leprous men. Of course, these are not the only leprous men in Israel. The word of God cannot be confused. As the Bible would have said, all the lepers in Israel. But he said, the four lepers. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If it takes few to cause riot in the university, then I'm sure with your faith, only you can scatter the world for Christ. Remember the story of Gideon. I don't think Gideon me. He thought he was the least in Israel. But God used him. He packed majority together. And God said to him, I don't really work with multitude. Cut them down. You can read chapter 6 to confirm that. 
Judges chapter 4. But that against the sinner. God wanted to move again. And he said to his servant Deborah. And he sent his servant Deborah. And Deborah went to Baran. You are a mighty man of war. God has promised victory. But he needs you. You are going to lead the army of God. Say to yourself, I will lead the army of God. Say, I will lead the army of God. In the move of God in my family. In the move of God in my nation, Nigeria. I will take the lead. In the name of Jesus. So many of us are not praying the prayer. The Bible talks about entrance of the gate. Entrance of the gate. The same best of a feather. Flush together. And Proverbs chapter 13 verse 20 says, If you walk with the wise, you will continually be wise. But to move with food is to be a fool perpetually. This four leprous men, they head together. They drank together. They live together. In winter, in summer. They fellowship together. They have relationship. And they communicate. Why? They have themselves. Why? Why? Every great thing in life. Every great thing in life begins with a question mark. Begins with a question mark. The fire that arose in me on that day was why can't we do it this way? Why can't it be like this? Everybody talks about problem. We all know we have problem as a nation. How many people are talking about possible solution to this problem? Then I got this inspiration that to actually bring about the solution. You need the creator's manual. And that is why I cannot do without my Bible. Hallelujah. 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 Don't constantly ask what is. Those are the things that bet great things. I will consume what is. Why not? What that she right? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another question is. That we need to ask ourselves now. That you have to be the one I want to see. Who is a leper? We know here this morning we don't have leprous men or women. Then who is a leper? Quickly, I go through it. Lepers are rejected men in the society. People that are written off. I want to bad Maybe at home or abroad. But they are not The wretched among wretched persons. I want to want to The graduates with no tangible job. I want to get to the party level. The old sick fellow. I want to the The accursed one. I want to the of The one nobody is willing to marry. I want to the emotionally truncated and shattered ones. The academically poor ones. I want to the The ones with incurable diseases. The ones with no hope for a better tomorrow. However, she won. These four lepers, they were different. They were different. Why? Because life is to you the way you view it. That's another reason why I encourage us to pray that prayer for faith. What you believe will always come to you. That is why Jesus will ask. What do you wish for? He said, ask, and they shall be given. Even though I know what you want, 
I know what you need for time. But you must ask. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now let's quickly go through some qualities of this leprous man according to our Bible passage. Number one, they were white lepers. They were white lepers. Why? Because they belong to God's nation. The nation of Israel is a nation called by the name of the Lord. You must belong to God, to the God of wisdom, by becoming born again. Number two, they live not with food. They live not with food. A portion of Proverbs says, it is better to listen to the rebuke of the wife than to enjoy the music of food. Sleep not with food. They ate not with food. They drank not with food. Even in winter and in summer. If this is a disaster, if your spouse is a fool. It is a disaster if your spouse is a fool. It's a disaster of the highest order. Little wonder Job was amazed. Job was amazed. And patterned. When his wife said, God God and died. Oh, and say, I did marry a foolish wife. Why are you becoming like one of them? It is a disastrous thing to stay in a house with a fool. You won't bring transformation anywhere. You won't bring transformation anywhere if you do that. Hallelujah. Amen. Number three. They fellowship not in the congregation of the dead. They fellowship not in the congregation of the dead. They go to where the Spirit of God is moving. Hallelujah. Amen. Number four. They keep no relationship with the ungodly. They stay and remain alone. They stay and remain alone. Okay, one day, one day, one. They prefer to stay alone. If they can't find godly relationship, they wait patiently for it. One day, they wait patiently for it. They wait patiently for it. Hallelujah. Amen. Number five. They make no foolish jesting. Or foolish jokes or and communication. They share ideas and seek opinion of one another. They seek opinion of one another. They say, God, what if we go? This is what we have. They make analysis and they all agree. Best of a feather. Flocks together. Number five. They don't just venture into business. They take calculated risk in doing business. This is going for us who involved in business in our day-to-day activities. They don't just dabble into business. They consult God and take godly counsel. And they take a related risk. Number six. They will rise early in the morning to carry out the plan of the day. The Bible says at twilight they plan in the night. What, 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 what we want. And and before I, anybody who wake up, they carry out their assignment. They, they, they carry out their assignment. Have you forgotten the put of Bethsaida? It is who first jump into the river. When the angel drop in the river, that will be healed. Somebody is here this morning. In your family, you will be number one. In Nigeria, you will become number one. 
And I was sitting at the back, I was just laughing. And I was just enjoying the vision. Hallelujah. Amen. Number seven. The Lord is with them that have faith. The Lord is with them that have faith. These people move with faith in the morning. And what that's all that you want to be around. And the Bible calls the enemy to hear a strange noise. Your enemy shall hear a strange joint and they shall give way for you to succeed in the name of Jesus. They are drunk early to execute their plans and the Lord is always backing them to prosper. A man of faith he is a man of prosperity. He is a man of exploit. When you read Hebrews chapter 11, from verse 1 to the end, you discover that those people that did exploit, according to the standard of God, they are men and women of faith. They are men and women of faith. Hallelujah. Amen. Number eight. The enemy is always confused. And cannot arm men and women of faith. Can you imagine? Only four leprous men. And put the army. That the Holy Spirit cannot fight. They put them into a flight. And they ran away. Hallelujah. Amen. The enemy will always confuse. And cannot have men and women of faith. Number nine. Men of faith always receive miraculous miraculously from God. They receive miraculously from God. For you to receive that thing your heart desire. You need faith. You need faith. Number 10. Which is the last point here. They will never forget others who are of the household of faith. When God blesses them. When God blesses them. Those lepers said, I wanted to say, we are not doing well. If we will not bring this gospel to the king, to the nation, so that the nation can be liberated, and they went ahead and spread the good news. Hallelujah. Amen. They bring and they bring to them blessings of God in cash and kind as in form of good news. Galatians 6, chapter 6 verse 10 says so then as we have opportunity let us do good to her men and especially to those who are of the household of faith who are of the household of faith we tell to you it takes faith to move and the bible says your little faith can move mountains like a mustard seed faith can move mountains can move mountains hallelujah don't forget the first point the lepers were wise. They were wise because they belong to the nation of God. And for you to belong to the nation of God so that you can grab the wisdom of the Almighty that this idea to rule the world you need to belong to Jesus. You need to belong to Jesus. No one comes unto the Father except through Jesus. He is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. You are here this morning. You want to say yes to the truth. You want to say yes to the way to God. God is talking to you. Make 
make your way right with me. You know you are not born of the spirit and of the blood of Jesus. Can you raise up your hands? We want to celebrate with you this morning. Wherever you are, wave your hands to Jesus. Wave your hands to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. In the next two minutes, we will pray some serious prayers. Yes, I want us to do it quickly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to say, Father. Father, Baba. I shall not die unfulfilled. Oh, no, 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 I shall not die unfulfilled. It doesn't matter how the world is looking at me. It doesn't matter my status in the society now. I refuse to die unfulfilled. Shame me for the better. Oh, put your mother pray. If I were you, I would pray better. In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, as I journey through the world, let my enemies hear strange noise and vacate my way to greatness. In the name of Jesus, as I journey through this world, let my enemies hear strange noise and vacate my way to greatness. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, let me always have good news for my friends and family. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Let me always have good news. Let me always bear good news for my friends and family. For my generation at large, let me always have good news. Touch my mouth. Touch my heart. And let good news always bring forth from me. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Yeah. And finally we say, Father, without bloodshed, that is sin that is left. Please conquer Nigeria for yourself. In the name of Jesus. Save our nation, Nigeria. In the name of Jesus. For Jesus. Thank you.